my gosh, I am so sick of this winter spring. <sighs> Me too. We need warmer weather. Hold on. <sighs> oh, oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh. God. I don't think this is going to do it either. Mm. Hold on. Ah. Oh, that's better. Ah, that is better. I think we can work with this. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what to do when you're looking for a real estate agent. And what better expert than my wife and partner, Sandy Anna. How many years, or how long have you been licensed? I got licensed in 98. Of course, I did appraisals for a few years. I've been selling full time since 2004. Okay. So, how many years have you been actively selling full time? 14 years. All right, so we've established Sandy as real estate professional. So with that being said, I have some questions for you. Okay, Good? sure. Good with that? Sure. Awesome. In your opinion, why do you need not only a strong realtor, but an experienced? What I mean by strong is when the negotiations get tough, somebody that can stick up for themselves a little bit and represent their clients in the manner they want to be represented. Well, I think you need an experienced, consumers need an experienced agent because buying or selling a house is gonna be the biggest investment they're likely to make. So why would someone gamble with an experience? First of all, you want someone who's trained, ethical, um, somebody who knows their fiduciary duties to their clients and takes them seriously. Your hair looks really dry for that big storm we just had too. <laughs> when I got in this business, there were 2,000 realtors and today there are over 3,000. So everybody in the world wants to do it. Lots of new agents, lots of sisters, aunts, cousins, and all that. What can somebody do that is actually watching our video? How can they shop for or identify a realtor? What, okay. what does that process look like? That's a good question. I think uh, number one is ask for your friends and family who've recently bought or sold. Ask who they used and if they were happy with their experience. That's one way. You can ask Facebook. They'll give you some names, your friends, your community. You can do an online search. Um, once you narrow down a few names, then I would Google that person. Do they have track record in your area? Have they sold in your price range? Have they sold period? Do they have any sales to speak of? What's their sales price ratio? Um, what are clients saying about them? So you can see online reviews in a lot of places. You can check Yelp, Google, Zillow. There's a lot of places you can look for reviews. You could just search your area and see who comes up. So that's one way. Once you get those, I think you need to interview the person. Don't just hire the first one, interview two or three and see if they show up on time. Are they professional? Are they, pro um, that's showing up on time. Uh, how do they carry themselves? Because they're gonna represent you, whether buying or selling. And do they know their numbers off the top of their head? Right, do you want, they know are their they ratios? prepared? Do they know what's going on in the market? Or are they just winging it, showing up late, dressed sloppy and excuses and don't know what they're <laughs> talking about? You don't wanna hire them. Okay. Mm -hmm. One last question. How important is somebody's uh, brokerage that they work for? Is okay. that important in the search? Well, do, I do think the brokerage they're with is important. You wanna check that brokerage out as well, but do realize that in a brokerage, and for example, our brokerage, we have over 200 agents. They are not all the same. You have from a brand new agent who has another full-time job and has never taken a real estate class that just got their license and doesn't know what they're doing, all the way up to uh, teams, large teams of 10 agents who sell 50 million a year who are good great agents and they have a track record of success and then you've got like our team you have a wide gamut so basically there usually is like a top five to ten percent who's handling all the business and then there's a lot of part-timers so don't assume that every agent in the company is exactly the same um, do do your homework don't just say oh Keller Williams Rector Hayden Milestone they're awesome sure they are but then do your homework on that particular agent because they have different training, different levels of experience, different specialties that they can bring to the table. We have farm experts and residential, commercial, we have it all at our office. All right, well, I think that's great information. We definitely hope that helps you guys on this fantastic hump day. Hump day doesn't have me down today. Do <laughs> now I'm motivated. I have listing appointments and work to, to do today, so it's, it's a good, I'm always motivated. You know, attitude matters too in who you hire. You want some, a go-getter. And the weather's person. warm, call us. As I always say, all I ask for, or all we ask for, is the interview. 
no hard feelings if you don't hire us, but all we ask for is the chance. Just give us the opportunity. We look forward to helping you in your next move. Have a good day. Enjoy the weather. See you.